remember the Persian? One. Persian 1. Sounds pretty cool. 2010, really? That far back? Yep. Uh, who did it? Okay. Let's have a look at version 1, so. I'm going to do that probability question. The right way. Right. No, it wasn't this one. Was it a different version? Yeah, I didn't think I went as far back as 2010. Let's look at 2011. Business. Oh, there's only one version here. Maybe this is this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're talking. <coughs> Okay, let's try this again. So A is 0.4 and B is 0.6. So what happens here is we were looking at this yesterday, Tony. Were you here yesterday? No, not in the extra class, no. That's okay. A is 0.4 and B is 0.6. And you're also told that they are independent, which means that P A and B is P A multiplied P B, which is 0 0.6 times 0 0.4, which is 0 0.24. So this is A, this is B, this is 0 0.24. So this must be 0 0.16. Yeah. And this must be 0 0.36. Is that right? Yeah? <coughs> so what's on the outside? Well, that's 0 0.76. 0 0.24? Do I have all my numbers right? Let's see if I get one when I add them up. Yeah. So the first part is um, what is A and B and then A and not B. So here's the answer for the first part. This is probability of A and B. And this one here is probability of A and not B. Now we're talking. <coughs> Mm, they arrived. Hey, uh, what yeah. happened? Why are you late? Uh, we went to the E213. Yeah. Where the half math? It's, it's here in the timetable. You went to the half math room? No. Show me. Really? Show me. It's the first the, the 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 There. Ah. But. It's just again. Here. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay, fair enough. But why is it that everyone else knew to go here except for you, Trey? <coughs> ah. <laughs> ah. And where's Albert? <laughs> Interesting. I don't know, I thought the window was open. Okay, anyways, let's look at the next part. So now we have, um, let me just draw this again, but this time we have an A, B, and a C. So there's A, there's B, there's C, A, B, and C. Now you're told that a and C are mutually exclusive, which means what, Victor? Yeah. What is it? They're completely yeah. <laughs> that they can't they can't happen at the same time. So if if A and C are mutually exclusive, it means that there must be zeros and zeros here. Now this is still point two four, which means this is still point one six. 
you're also told that B and C is 0.35. So if B and C is 0.35, what do I put here? 0.35. But you're also told that C is 0.5. So what, if that's 0.35, what goes here? 0.15. And B is still 0.6. <coughs> so let me see, 0.24 plus 0.35 is 0.59 so this here is 0.01 now do we have a probability on the outside let's see 0.16 plus 0.24 plus 0.01 plus 0.35 plus 0.15 is 0.91 so here is 0.09 now we can answer any question. What do we ask? Are B and C independent? And give the value of B given C. Okay. So first I'll calculate B given C. That's probability of B and C over C. What is B and C? 0.35 and C is 0.5. So that is Point seven. Oh no, C. No. All of C. No. It's point five. Mm. See, you're making the Stephen mistake of yesterday. Yeah. Today is a new day. We won't do that again. Okay, is that okay? No. Yes. Oh my goodness. Now there's Albert. You <laughs> 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 saw me. Can you open the door there? It's not that hot. Let's not go crazy now. Yeah. You're right beside the window. You come from a hot country. <laughs> <laughs> we have the air, air conditioning, yeah, okay. I don't want to get sicker if it gets too cold. You wouldn't want that to happen to me, would you? No, of course not. Right. There is another way to check if B and C are independent. If they're independent, if we get the same answer for this, if the C doesn't happen. <laughs> Wow. Hey, 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 not fighting, John Wei. He came here nearly on time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so just so you know, um, B and C are independent. There's two ways to check if B and C are independent. The first way is like this. You want to see if this is true. That's the first way to check. There is another way to check. If the probability of B given C is the same as the probability of B given not C. That's another way to check. These are the two ways to check. So let's go back and um, use this way. Okay, what's the probability of B and not C and then over not C? So that's still 0.5. B and not C. Okay, which one is B and not C? No, but B, not quite that. B, no. Oh, sorry, I thought you said 95. Yeah, 25 is right, yeah. 0 0.25. Very good. So, 0 0.25 is on the top here. So, this is 0 0.5 in total. So, are they independent? Are they? No. Are they the same? No. So, they're not independent. They are... Dependent then. Why well, probability of not C is 0.5? Well, probability of C is 0.5, yeah. so 1 minus 0.5 is mm -hmm. 0.5. Is that okay? Looks easy now. Okay. Next question. 
Um, so let me see, that was a probability. We'll do the probability tray and mm, more probability. Yeah, let's make this a probability revision. Um, so we'll do the we'll do the binomial and then the normal. But first we'll do a, a probability trait. Now I think these are quite good in the exam. They're not too difficult. And here, how many marks is that now? Seven. Which is okay. I mean, you get two marks for drawing the tray, and then five marks for using it. So it's actually it's actually pretty good. Okay, can you try this one, please? And let's see what is in part A. If there's a probability. Do you want to warm up by calculating an average? This one is, is very easy to do. They say there's 40 students and they say the 25 boys are this tall and 15 girls are this tall. What's the average for the class? So, you know, three marks, but it's a quick three marks. It should only take you one minute. Try that first one then. The formula is the one with the fx over f. You know the one? Hmm? I'll do it. Don't worry. Write it down. Yeah, but write it down. Probably the quickest three marks you can get. Oh dear. Right. <coughs> How many boys? Five. And their height? Five. How many girls? Five. And their height? Five. One seven one. How many in total? Five. Forty. So the 25 times 179 plus 15 <coughs> times 171 over 14, 176 cm. Yeah. Straightforward. Okay. Now put the phone very far away from you. Further, for there we go. Okay, um, how do we feel about product rule? Do we like it? No. Can we do it? In other words, is this too straightforward to do, or do you want to try it? Try. Do you want to give it a try? This, what, what's nice about this question? Yes. Don't simplify. So in fact you can do it very quick. Again for another three marks. Give it a try. It's not it's not crazy hard. And what's the function? 
E two X cos three X. So you need what rules here? Product and shame. So first we differentiate the E two X. That would be two E two X cos three X. Then we differentiate the cos three X. What would that be? Do you know? Cos three X becomes minus, minus yeah. Three. Three sine three x. That's it. Easy peasy. Yeah. Next. <coughs> Let's see if you still remember how to do number three. Yeah, so it should be. Shouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, um three y minus four, was it? What did they tell you the expectation is? What is it? Twenty? The mean is twenty and the variance? Three y minus four equals fifteen. So if you look at these two, the first one you can write as 3 times expectation of y mm -hmm. minus 4 equals 20. So that would be 24 divided by 3 is 8, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you get ey equals 8. And then when we look at the second equation, uh, that becomes 3 squared variance of y equals 15. So then variance of y equals What's wrong? Is it right? Yeah. yeah. 15 over 9. Yeah. But if we keep it as a fraction, what's that? 5 Four. over 3. Yeah, so this one here comes from, we'll say, A. And this answer here comes from B. And that's it. We did one like this yesterday, I think. Um, right, we can't do five. I don't think we need to do six now. Yeah. We've done enough of them. Ah, uh, look, we better do one of these because just to make sure you can do them in the exam. I know you just did your project on it last week, so you should remember the formula. In this one here, they want the equation of the line. In this one here, y is the number of drinks sold and x is the temperature. We talked about this yesterday. Please, I'm so sick. Um, 
It's in the form sheet, but it's weird. So you should use the way the formula I gave you. Thickness, please. No, the A and B. Please. Please. In this one here, it's M and C, okay? Yeah. Yeah, so the formula, let's see if I can remember. Hang on. M is N SXY minus SXSY over square root and SX XX or X squared XX minus SX SX no this is R oh, okay well the only difference is in the bottom isn't it it's S N S X X Minus S X S X, and that is, yeah. And then the C S Y over N plus or minus A. Just give me five seconds of silence if I can get it. We're looking for the C, so minus M S X over N. So if you just directly use these formulas, you get the answer. I mean, they give you the S's. Yeah, so, okay, let's go back to the question now. All right, so they want... So it's actually a very good question for five marks. You got the answer? But you did this for your assignment last week. Leon! Here. Go back. N here. Ten is it? Okay. And the X is the T. So ten uh what's the first? F X Y which is two six eight two five, yeah? Minus SX SX S Y, isn't it? So that's two three seven one one four one. Okay, and then and just divide. Um, N again, which is 10, and then it's SX squared, which is 5795. Yeah, and then minus SX, yes. So what that is 237. Right, so just put, literally just typing it in on the calculator, I get about minus 1.21 yeah so I mean there's, there's nothing crazy there M is minus 1.21 um, well if we do it three significant figures it would be 2 2 
And then C is SY, which is uh, 1141 over N minus M times SX, which is S is the T, 237 over 10. So for the C, I got 142.9, so 143. So the answer is y equals what's wrong? 1.43? No? What did you guess? 1.1.1.8. Did I make a mistake? I'll double check. Hang on. What? What? That's why? <laughs> it's 1.141. One, one, one divided by 10 minus minus 1.22 times SX which is 237 over 10 oh weird thank you Leon it's 143 what? why is it funny that Leon got it right? <laughs> Is this right now? Yes, okay. So y equals m t plus one four three. Yeah. Actually, you know, that's a good question for five marks, I think. Yeah, it was five marks, isn't it? Five marks. So the answer? Oh, up to what though? This is everything. Oh, the bo the bottom is it? This question is usually in section B though. In this paper, it was in section A. Okay, continue. Yeah. Right. Um. I think we'll do these two. What's nice about eight? But they give you the substitution. Is it about the last thing? So this is that you didn't get the same answer. Okay, good. So what's the problem? Should we round you before the final answer? Ah, well, your working should be to four significant figures. The final answer is rounded, but you don't need to round your working. Okay. Yeah. Right. The work the workings needs yeah the original or at least four significant figures. Yeah. Are you finished? Khan will teach you his exam trick. Or TFQ. Or TFQ. Yeah. Read the. I can't remember what the F stands for. <laughs> question. <laughs> Good advice. Good advice. Doing Tony? Second formula. A formula. I don't know.
Değil mi? Okay, we can do it now. Yeah. So, uh, Victor, just read out the question, please. What, what are the limits? Uh, two to three. Two to three. Mhm. X. Mhm. Suppose three X minus And they tell us what the U is. They say U is three X minus four. So du dx is three. So dx is du over 3. I can take this and this and put it back in. So this becomes 2, 3, x root u, du over 3. But what's the problem? We have the x. So if we look at this, we can rewrite it as u plus 4 over 3 equals x. So this can also go back in. u plus 4 over 3 u power a half, 1 over 3, du. So this will be 1 over 9, and then when you multiply here, this is u power 3 over 2 plus 4, u power a half, du. So this will be 1 over 9, u power 5 over 2 over 5 over 2, plus 4 u power 3 over 2, 3 over 2. So we can take the 2 out. It'll be 2 over 9. And um, what was the u? I don't remember. Power 5 over 2 plus 4 over 3, 3x minus 4 power 3 over 2 and the limits are to the tree. So if I put the tree in first, let me see what I get. This will be 9 minus 4, it's 5, power 5, it's a big number, it's in square root 2, 5 power 5, square root, divided by 5, um, on the calculator, I got 5 root 5 when I put in 3. And then when I put in 3 here, 5 power 3, it'll be 9 minus 4, which is 5, power 3, and this. So this one here will be plus 20 root 5 over 3. And then when I put in 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 4, um, 2, 2 power 5, I got 4 root 2 over 5, plus, and then when I put it in here, Again, 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 power 3 times that times 4 divided by 3. I got 8 root 2 over 3. I'm just putting these in on my calculator. Can't do it in my head. So let me just type all of this in my calculator. 2 over 9. 5 root 5 plus 20 root 5 over 3 minus 2 over 9, 4 over 5, root 2, plus 8 over 3, root 2. 
and I get 6.36. Did I make a mistake? Please tell me if I did. Yes? Yes, I will. Um, just one sec. I made a... No, I didn't make a mistake just yet. Let's check if my answer is right on my calculator. No. That's nearly right. Uh, the answer should be 5.9. So there's a small, small mistake somewhere. Maybe I just typed it in wrong. This was a 20, I said, wasn't it? Yeah. When you type this in? But I just typed in the exact thing. Two over nine. Oh, I see my mistake. Sorry. That's a twenty. I typed in thirty. Four point seven. But that's wrong. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, eight over the four uh, four plus four. Here? No, no, no. Here? Up. Here? Up. Here? Yeah, How do you? Oh, sorry. That's no problem. <laughs> Is it? I'm having trouble typing in. So. Here you get 4.7, which we think is right. Let's check the answer. So, Dun 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 dun. 4.71. Yeah, I didn't write my one. This one was. Was it 5 marker? 6 marker. There you go. Again, this should be easy for you. How many marks do you think this is? Six. Six. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you need to put the numbers from smallest to biggest. Yeah. Something which you learn how to do in elementary yeah, school. Like five marks.
Okay. Can you give me the give me the list, please? What's the first number? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Twenty-one, twenty-five, thirty-seven, thirty-one, thirty-five, thirty-nine, forty-four, fifty-two, fifty-four, sixty-four, seventy-one, seventy-nine, eighty-five. Okay. And eighty-five. Right. So let me count those. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the half. So the median is forty-four plus fifty-two over two. This is the median. It's forty-eight. Now here. If there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the middle of the lower half will be here. So this is the lower quartile. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four. This is the upper quartile. Um, so to be clear, the lower quartile is 31. The median is 48. The upper quartile is 64, and we also want interquartile range, which will be 64 mm -hmm. minus 31, which is 33. It's very good for six marks. It's very good for six marks. Yeah. No, that's your choice. That's your choice. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, right, so that's section A, and then um, probability treaties. <coughs> this is um, B2B.
travels to university on foot, bicycle or bus. So they have three ways to get to university. They can go on foot, bicycle or bus. They either buy a meal or take their food from home. The probability that student travels by bus is 0.2. And by bicycle is 0.6. Therefore, foot is 0.2. And then what happens next is they can either buy food or take it from home. So they either buy their food or they either bring their food. Buy their food or bring their food. Right, so we're told that the problem, if they walk, there's a 0 0.3 chance that they'll buy their meal. So if they walk, there's a 0 0.3, which makes this a 0 0.7. If they bike, there's a 0 0.8 that they bring their food, making this 0.2. And if they travel by bus, they're equally likely. What is the probability that they buy a meal? So probability that they buy, well, that would be 0 0.2 times 0 0.3, wouldn't it? So 0 0.2 times 0 0.3 plus 0 0.6 times 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.5. So what's that? 0 0.06, yeah? Plus 0 0.12 plus 0 0.12. Oh, one. No, point point one. Point one. Uh, so what's that? Point two eight. So there's twenty eight percent probability that they'll buy their lunch. A random student. If the student brings their lunch, what's the probability that they travel by bus? So what's the probability that they travel by bus, given that? they bring their lunch. So this is the probability that they travel by bus and that they bring their lunch okay. over probability that they bring their lunch. So uh, what's the bus and bring? Yeah. 0 0.1. 0 .1. Yeah. Probability that they bring their lunch is 1 minus the probability that they don't bring, i.e. they buy. So the answer is 0.1 over 1 minus 0 0.28. 0.139. Yeah. Rock and roll. Hey, please.
you look confused. Finish the eye part? Let's have a look at it. So, he fishes for six days. Mm -hmm. The probability he has a good day is 0 0.65, and we would like four good days. 6C4, 0 0.654, 0 0.35. Zero point three two eight. Yeah. The next one is you want the probability of at least is it at least two? At least two. So two or more. So it's two, three, four, five or six successes. Yes. Yes. So this would be one minus the probability of zero or one success, which would be one minus zero successes, six C zero point six five zero point three five six six C one point six five one point three five five. So let's see what we get. big. Point, point nine seven eight. Yeah? So he's very likely to have at least two good days. What's wrong, Tony? Yeah, we can use the table. So let's do it using the table as well, okay? So we want the probability of two or more successes, where success is P equals 0.65. Yeah, now there's two problems. Firstly, the 0.65, and secondly, it's two or more. So we'll, we'll have to do that. We'll, two or more successes, that would be... Two, three, four, five, six successes, which is the same as this is four failures. Four failures, three failures, two failures, one failure, zero failures. So that would be four or less failures. And the probability of a failure is 0.35. So we could look up the table book of 0 0.35 n equals 6, x equals 4. What numbers in the table book for that? The same. 
because exactly this is in it. Yeah. I don't really feel like that was much quicker because there's only two. But it's still good to know we get the same answer. Yeah. It's okay? You don't look happy. It's okay? Yeah. This is the, this is the same answer. Yeah, I should write here successes and failures. Is it the original? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? You don't look happy. What's wrong? I think you should have. Now be careful, because I know this is r I know this is right because I got it right the other way. No, no, it's right. So what's wrong? I think Yes. It should be going like it should be point three five or zero. No. no. It's definitely right. Trust me. Because this is the Malik, these are the successes and failures. So we want no successes first and six failures. Then we want one but success. You it. One one minus. What's one minus? Yeah, yeah, there's one there's there's one minus there. I changed it from here. I was looking for two, three, four, five, six successes. Now I only want zero one successes. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I got it? Great. Continue. The next one is difficult. Please be careful. It's normal distribution. But it's difficult because they don't give you the average. You need to try and find it. So take your time with this. You'll need the table book. Try this one.
How's this going now? It's okay or not? Albert? We'll do it. So, you're told we don't know her average, we'll call it mu, but we know the standard deviation, what is it? Five minutes. And we also know the probability that her journey is less than 28 minutes is what is it? Oh, it's large, is it? So I should draw it onto the right. Well, she just said 0.9452. So it has to be, it's nearly the whole bell. Yeah. So we need to Z transform it. So when we Z transform it, the standard deviation is 1 and the mean is zero and what does this point become? 28 minus mu over 5 and the probability is still 0 0.9452 so you know is it 1.6? Yeah. the table book value of 28 minus mu over 5 is Oh, sorry, uh, I mean to say that the textbook value of this is 9452. Therefore, uh, this part here must be 1.6 because you said 1.6 gives you the 9452. So this number here must have been 1.6. So 28 minus mu over 5 must be 1.6. So 28 minus mu must be zero. Uh, it must be eight. Yeah. So mu must be 36. Oh, sorry, minus 20 minutes. And then the last part is what's the probability it takes more than 24 minutes? So again, we have here uh, now this is 20, and we want more than 24. So if we Z-transform it, this will be 0 and this will be 0 0.8. So we want more than 0 0.8. Yeah, so probability that Z is more than or equal to 0 0.8 is equal to 1 minus the probability that Z is less than or equal to 0 0.8, which is 1 minus the table book value of 0 0.8, which is? 0 0.7. Point, final answer is 2119. I know it was a little difficult at the start. It's not too bad. Yeah, good question. What what do you feel like? For both parts? 3 2. 3 2? 3 2? 3 3? Two four, no, or two maybe. Dun 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 dun. Four three. Uh -huh. The previous one, the probability, or this part. Yeah. Oh, what do you think? Six. I oh, know. Come on, get real. <laughs> it feels like this should be one mark more than this. And one, yeah. I, I'm thinking two three. Two three. Yeah, make it five. Four four. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's a nice paper. Okay, all right. All right. So you see the probabilities can be quite generous <laughs> questions then. Yeah. All right, we're not um no, we don't do five. Yes. 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 Last one here for this exam, B six please. Uh, what type of problem is this? What what lesson is this about? Mm. Oh, 
Come on, just let them. No. No. Come on, someone tell me the name of this. No. Implicit derivatives. Implicit derivatives. Okay. Oh. Because the yeah, it's a function of x and y in the equation. The y is not separated. No, no, the A is an English indefinite A. A curve called C. It's not, the curve is not called A. You could, maybe it says that curve C. Yeah, or some curve C.
Part are you on? That's okay. Impossible. How far did you get? Leon! What's the problem? You're talking in Chinese. Don't do this. Finish, Leon? Do you want to see it now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you just read the equation to me? What was it? Nine y. Yeah. Plus eight cos y. Plus eight cos y. So they want to know where does it cross the x-axis? It should be two and minus two. Yeah. So we make y equals zero. Correct. Zero plus 8 equals 2x squared. So x squared equals 4. So x equals plus or minus 2. So 2, 0, minus 2, 0. So that's the first part done. The next part is they want the, the derivative. So uh, this is part 1. Part 2. 2 cos y dy dx minus 8 sine y dy dx equals 3y plus 3x dy dx plus 4x. I use the product rule here, product rule. 
So I get 2 cos y minus 8 sine y minus 3x dy dx equals 3y plus 4x. So I get dy dx equals 2 cos y minus 8 sine y minus 3x all over. No. It's underneath. 2 cos y minus 8 sine y minus 3x, 3y plus 4. Oh my goodness! 4x. I think the next part is they want the tangents, is it? And they want the tangents at these points. So we need to put both of them in. So when I put the first one in 2, 0, what will I get? Let me see. The y is 0, so that will be 8. Let me type it in. Over 8 one. over 2 minus 6. So minus 2. Or, and then when I put in minus 2, I'll get 3, no, 0 minus 8. 0 minus 8 over 2 minus 0 plus 6. Minus 1. Now that's not finished yet because I also need the, 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 the C. So y equals minus 2x plus C and y equals minus 1x plus C. Um, okay, so here you use this point. So um, when the y is 0, so you get y equals minus 2x plus 4. Mm -hmm. And here when we use the other point, we get y equals minus x plus no, 2. Minus plus minus hang on. Minus. Wait. Minus 2 minus 1. Wait. Minus plus 2. Minus 2. Minus. Minus two, thank you. Minus two. And lastly, they want to know where these two tangents meet. So we can solve them. We got minus two x plus four equals minus x minus two. So that means x equals two, isn't it? <laughs> Six. X equals six, so Y equals minus eight. If you put this back in here. So this is where the two tangents meet. That wasn't too bad, was it? Well, it's a full section B question, so it's 15 marks. But more interestingly, how do we think the breakdown is? So how much for the first one? Two. Could only be one. Because you can do, well, you can do it a quicker way. Yeah. You could do this by, okay, fine. I think so. Two. Right, <laughs> the, the next one, well, you probably saw it. The derivative is the six. Um, this one was pretty easy. So we have two, six, four, and three. So you got most of the marks for the dy dx. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look now at another one. I think we'll have a look at twenty ten. Mercy, your teacher's so sick. You have not the energy to be angry with you. Sometime next week, when you least expect it. Yeah.
You'll be sitting down in business class and then right in the middle of the class I'd burst in and say practice test. <laughs> um blah 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 I want to do that question I saw a while ago with all the weird sets in it. Where which one was that? Maybe it was we just maybe it was twenty twelve. You know the one I'm talking about, the weird looking one. Yeah. Where is it? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not actually that bad. Now, by the way, this question, uh, I don't like that they did this because it's not quite normal. But we know that uh, this means not A. But the dude who wrote this exam, I don't like him. Uh, well, no, but maybe that's a bit harsh. Uh, he used this to mean not A. Uh, sorry. Maybe couldn't find No, because it's much easier to type this than it is to type this. So you would have to go out of your way to get this. Anyways, no matter, no matter. Um, I just want you to do... Hey, this is actually... I think this is a pretty nice question. I think uh, you could probably get this done in five minutes. And then I'll do it. Do we have left of teaching? Just next week. Ooh, a double class on Monday. What time? Eleven o'clock. Oh, it's afterwards. Yeah. Do you have class four? What class? Yeah. Do you know if that's going ahead still for next week? Because there's no EAP classes. Yes, I know, but ESAP is kind of like EAP. Is Mark your teacher? Uh, he's going to he's going to turn into a business class, isn't he? Yeah. Challenge. So not like math stuff. Um, what do you have before two o'clock? No, Monday. So it's double business. Double EAP. But there's no EAP. So it's not oh, yeah. I don't care about the speaking exam. I don't care about that. Uh, double EAP, 11 and 12. Yeah. And then break it once. So I'm thinking possibly of making your exam at 11 because I need two and a half hours. So if I do it, of course, if I do the exam at 11, then I won't give you maths at two. Yeah, but you but you're not all doing the speaking exam at the same time. Do you know what I mean? It's like a ten minute exam, isn't it? Twenty minutes exam. 
Well, then, would you prefer it than if we did it like started at one thirty? Yeah, okay, maybe we'll do that. I'll have to check if there's a room free. I need two and a half hours for maths. So what time is it? I'm thinking one thirty. Oh, screw them. <laughs> who who finished at one forty? Oh, yeah. Who? Oh, yeah. She doesn't need the full two and a half hours. She she can lose ten minutes. You finish at one forty, your speaking exam. Who's your partner, Ricky? You can talk fast? Finish sooner? <laughs> oh, I'll think about it. I'll email you tomorrow, maybe. Hmm? Maybe. Okay, will we have a look at this now? I actually think this, although it looks weird, is pretty easy. Um, what's in the A set? One, three, five. One, three, five, seven, nine. The B set? Two, six, eight. The C set? One. And um, the total set is one is one to ten. So if we can draw this A set, B set, C set. Right, so let's start with what's in common. Uh anything in common for all of them? No. No. So it's empty here. Right. What about A and B? What's in common? Nothing. So there's nothing here. Yeah. Alright, what about A and C? One. One five seven. So then if one five seven is here, then three and nine must be here. Now what about B and C? Two. Just two? Yeah. So then that must mean one five no, no just one that no, nothing. Okay, B is two six eight. Right, so we have one to ten. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, so this is our Venn diagram. Right, so what's the first one? It's um A union C A union C intersect B. So A and C, which is here intersect B. So what's that one? What is it? No. Two. Two. A union B, what's in together and in common with B? The only only two is in common. What's the next one? A union B A union B intersection A union C. Right. A union B are these two circles. Oh, sorry, these two circles, and A union C are these two circles. Is it two again? A union B. No, no, it's um. Hang on, let me let me draw it in momentarily. So here is A union C, and then and then here's A union B. One, five, seven, so it's one, only what's in common. One, one five seven, one five seven two. Three and nine. Yeah, nine. Everything except six and eight. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Right. So. <laughs> uh, I like drawing. Everything except six and eight. One five seven three nine two. Right. What's next? Uh, not A union B. A union B not. It's 4 and 10. Right, what's next? Not A intersect not B. 
not A intersect not B. Not A is 682, not B is 39157. There's nothing here. Oh, I forgot about 4 and 10, I didn't see them there. 4 and 10, thank you. What's next? Um, A intersect B not. Everything. A intersect B is here. Yes? Not this is everything. 1 to 10. 1, 2, just all the way to 10. Yeah? Um, a, not A, union, not B. Not A, union, not B. So, not A is 682. Not B is 39157. Oh, and 4 and 10. Is it everything again? It's you. Not B is not B is one five seven three nine four ten, and not A is three nine one five seven four ten. Union put them together. Sorry, I'll say that one more time. I said it wrong. Not A is six eight two four ten. Not B is three nine one five seven four ten. Put them together. It's everything. Yeah, okay. You try a coin five times, what's the probability? Oh, blah, so easy. No, uh, no tails. No tails means how many heads? Five. A half, five, a half, zero. So the answer is just a, a half power five. The next one is one head and four tails. So one head is five C one, a half five, a half sorry, a half one and then a half four. But you see the same things happen. You got one over two power five and the only difference is in the front is five C one, which is five. The next one is two tails, which is how many heads? Three. So you can guess it's gonna be five C three 1 over 2 power 5. And the last one is 3 tails, which is 2 heads. So that's 5C2, 1 over 2 power 5. So, um, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So the answers are 1 over 32, 5 over 32, 10 over 32, 10 over 32. There's the four answers. Really. They ask you the same thing four times. It's a strange question, very unusual. Very lazy, really. Well, the top, the, everything here is 15. So let's see. What do we think? Oh, there it is there. 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. Why is this one 3? Not A intersect not B. One 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 one. This is this is the person you can't think of a question, so it's like God the 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 that I'll send you an email tomorrow, today, tomorrow or Monday, about the math. <laughs> You're only making it longer. I'll send you an email today, tomorrow or Monday about the math test. I would like to give you the math test on Monday, that way we can review the test in the classes afterwards. So I think with eight. I think I would like to spend next week reviewing the test. Um, 